Okay, so we have an angio seal on the table here that we ended up not using, and I thought this would be a good time to show everyone what it is. This is the most common closure device that we use for patients. Uh, once we put a tube in the artery to do a procedure, and then we pull it out, uh, most of the time we put in some sort of closure device. It allows people to ambulate much faster than if we didn't use a closure device. Uh, and it allows us to do things in the outpatient space. So I'm gonna put it together for us real quick. There are two pieces to this. I click together, there's little arrows telling you how to assemble it correctly. And this is just the insertion sheet. The angio seal is this little collagen plug right here. And what we'll do is when we have a wire in place into the artery that we're gonna close, you will take this angio seal and run it over the wire. So this will go in the artery. And it has a little side hole right here. And once you're in the artery and blood is flowing by that side hole, you'll start to see blood come out of the side of this device and it'll let us know we're in a good spot. So then I'll pull out the wire and then put in the angio seal and you'll be able to see what it looks like on the inside of the artery it clicks here and then i can set it and there's a little collagen or a dissolvable foot plate right here and so that will lock on the inside of the artery let's see if i can grab it like so and then i'll be able to push down this collagen plug on the top of the artery so you'll get closure on the inside of the artery and on the outside of the artery. These are called active closure devices. So that's it, an angio seal closure device. And then we'll cut this off and uh, this suture and the foot plate and the collagen plug, it'll all dissolve within three months.